Hello guys, it's Good Lake, and we're back to The Witcher 3, the wildest of the hunts. Phew, I've been listening to some Witcher soundtracks, and I've been emotional, and I feel like it's time to play the game now. So, I've been looking at which order the expansion packs came. I believe Blood and Wine was first. Well, let me show you on the map, really. Explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Spoiler much, Dandelion? What the hell? Yay, we're back in Skilligar. Right, so... If you go to Novigradus... I believe this whole area, that super high level, is actually DLC. It was not supposed to be there or something. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe it was there, but it's like... How to put this... It was uh, just barren, or maybe it was, you can't go here, and then you will get teleported. Whatever, how the hell did I get off this place? Ooh, that's, that's, that's the place. Edrian's chambers. I wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Oh, you want to fight? Jesus, you almost hit me with a sword. Watch where you're swinging. Yeah, see that? There's like a way downstairs. Adventure seeker. Well, I don't know. At least I'm not fucking trying to warm myself to a non existent fire. God damn it. What's the matter, dude? Just trying to do it. And this guy doesn't have voice acting. And this door is locked. This is it. Locked door means war. <laughs> that rhymed a lot more than I thought it would. Hey! Well, as a matter of fact, I can. But not this axe. It's too high level for me. It's adornment. Hey, that's true, Mr. Armor. And another armor. There's multiple armors here. Oh, to each his own. Why is everyone here swinging shit? Seriously, I guess it's because it's cold. It's so damn cold that they have to move around even in the most mundane ways to keep themselves warm. Alright, climbing time, bitches. What's up here? Oh. An impassable, impenetrable wall. Yeah, definitely. That, 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 that was way too far above what would normally be passable. Fine, then. If I can go up, I can go down. Is it recommended to go down? I mean, we're just right here, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, thank goodness. The cold waters of this land have broken my fall. While well, I made the assumption that they're cold, they could actually be pretty not cold. You wonder if I call a roach while I'm miles under him, will he still teleport? I haven't had a... Like, you know... Scenario where I could try this out. And honestly, not that interested anyway. Whoa! The northern wind! It's coming after me! I see, the ladies prefer swords in this land. Ha! <laughs> Penis joke. Huh. 
Right, so our plan... Plan... First of all, is to increase to the max the, uh, <laughs> fucking... Oh shit, there is some something here. You might actually be able to go there, what the fuck? That's unlikely. I probably just didn't find a way. Yeah, I turned up all my fucking, uh... Cooling devices. With propellers and shit. That are attached to my computer to the maximum. Simply because if I don't do that, it's gonna fucking set on fire or something. Look, okay, they get really hot when this game is running. It takes some power to run something with uh, 120 FPS like this. I mean, it's not stable 120, let's be honest. What a jolly troop of lads. Alright, let's ask around. Oh, wait, what's this? Javor! You look sad, Javor. What's happened? Out of beer? I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Mead? Javor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with Mary a wrist. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep? A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Haveroff. He's over there. What can a blow from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. And it doesn't mind Dan Dyer. Bum hum. So, sirens? I met a few sirens. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other ass. Oh dear. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the weeds rock your boat. Well, that's something you can use. Thank goodness they're not like the second incarnation of cliff racers or anything. Oh, the drowners kind of fulfilled that purpose in this game anyway. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wealth looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zeracanian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Man, these people just cannot not interrupt each other when we're talking. Need to get to Undvik. Another threat seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents. Cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. A bit of luck, you say? Oh dear. I'll just teleport there. Nice talking to you. By the time I was on my way. Oh, I'll have enough sailing. I'll have plenty of sailing when, uh, you know, I'm gathering all the question marks in this goddamn Isle region. Yeah, we're not defeating that guy, but let's let's talk to the. W oh, look, 
a quest and one we supposedly been at don't you think I would have talked to those guys maybe they were assholes ah whatever Idiots. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. It weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid, rotten, but worse. And the moir diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freer watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Yeah, useless, but fine. There was another person. Dude, these druids are fucking out of it. Yesterday. And suddenly Interesting. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now me ma'am. I'm the only one left. I can't heal the sea lady. Chivilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life. And that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners. But he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched my brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. You still have a brother. And we're a diablin. Sea fiends. They caught him so bad. I only knew him by his coat. Or your brother or your husband? Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. This is a really interesting soundtrack. Feels like it's still there because of the, like, it feels like a funeral thing, definitely. Probably played during the funeral. Or something similar, at least. M must I? Greetings. Looking to buy? Maybe. Show me your wares. My guess is that no, because I already have all of these. These bastards just go around mapping the world so people would buy their shit. Oh yeah. Well, we don't need these things. I should put away f fucking fancy pants before I haul off with them. So long. And uh, then it's time to begin teleportation of uh, around this world. To find, you guessed it, all of the question marks in this bloody island archipelago. Alright, let's start with uh, Sorlag. It's got a quest. Is, is this, is this, what is this? Askel Dark where Sirius is? I don't know, who is Sirius anyway? We're we'll going there anyway, because I, I don't know. I want to start at the top, right? We're in the spike room. This must be where uh, the lady went. I could be wrong. Oh, they have uh, their own kind of nice songs. Everyone's coughing up. Must be cold in here. So no, just me. Stars bode ill. Diviner short. Read a warning in the stars. 
Our times are coming. Every son and daughter of Clan Brokwar should give offerings to Freya and ask for her aid. Whoever does not fulfill this duty will be flogged on your Ulderic's orders. Tooth Healer. I heal aching teeth. If my healing fails, I'll pull them out painlessly and for free. I will dare. Quest from Dru What the fuck is with these short notes? The Circle of Druids asked the brave warriors of Clan Brokwar to suspend fishing for two now, at least until their spawning season ends. Warning to the menfolk. I'm warning all of our villagers menfolk that if I hear another one whistling or shouting comments about my looks, I'll punch him in the gob so hard he won't be able to whistle till next winter. Fiola. Wagner's execution. Wagner, known as the blasphemer, was executed for insulting the great mother of goddess Freya. There you go. His obscene tongue was burned in the temple's heart fire and his mouth was given to the wipers. Okay. May his fate serve as a warning to those who dare spew filth about our heavenly mother. Come on, guys. I thought we could get along, but if you're gonna do this shit, not gonna be nice. Contract. Nils' disappearance. To anyone who might know anything, Nils from our village has disappeared. It's been many a day now, and he's still nowhere to be seen. So if you know what's become of him, don't keep it to yourself. Come see me and let me know, even if the truth's grim and dark. For my sister Brit, who was his betrothed, she's going out of her mind with worry, crying seas of tears and such. I swear to Hemdal, whoever brings me news will get an honorable reward. Kevan. Interesting. Is it in this village? Yeah. It's right down the road. This island doesn't have many spots. It added another fucking plethora of question marks, of course. Right. Uh. You know what? We're not we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that right now. Cause I'm gonna forget probably important details if we do this. Let's do this logically. We're gonna do the quest once we get there. And first step of this whole shebang is to collect all of the notice boards. All of them. Every single one of them. Starting with all the small uh, villagers and isles around the world. God, there's so many people in here. It's crazy. Jesus. Order from the Jarl. If you spot an old guardian ship on the horizon, return to the village and tell me. Do not sail against them by yourself. What's on the waters around the Isles belongs to all, and we will all plunder it together. Donar and Hindar. Hmm. Quest from the Druids. Sons and daughters of Skellige, when you catch a shark, it is unbecoming to take only the fins and drop the rest into the sea. Such wastefulness is an insult both gods and nature. The body of every killed creature where the weasel whale has to be used in its entirety to the last bone and tendon. Ermion himself. Jeez. Quest from Brynagard. Why is everyone requesting on these boards? Oh. My son, Gajan fled the battlefield. If you meet him, kill the coward and throw his naked corpse into the sea for fish to feed on. Bringyard. Contract. Monster on the high road. I need a hero. A man favored by the gods or a vichar. Anyone really who's not afraid to stand up to the ghastly creature. What's been attacking folk walking the main road to Larrick? A reward's been set aside. If you don't fear death and long for fame and ballads, come see the village elder. Thorleif, son of beer hawks. P.S. Ver, you stay home, you've done enough as it is. Race for mother and Freya's glory. Looking to worship Freya and prove your courage at the same time? Join the animal hero's pursuits. The priestesses and our goddess herself will shower you with gold and blessings. Let it be known that not everyone who takes part in our race will reach the finish line in one piece. So if you have a pregnant wife, unfinished business, or debts you're on our bound to repay, think twice before straddling your mount. Jeez. Contract. Morkwarg. Sons and daughters of Freya, another year has passed in which Morkwarg plagues our goddess's gardens. 
Whoever musters the courage to eliminate this evil will gain fame amongst mortals and the favor of the immortals, as well as a prize from the temple's vault, Sister Justa. It's actually a ways away from the teleportation device. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Am I going the right way? The answer is yes. Sup the answer might surprise you. It's yes. Okay. Manhunt. Lighter of Lofoten, who insulted our Jarl, has been caught. During the manhunt, young Runar acted with exceptional courage. In a word, he shall hold leaders here while the Jarl cuts the rich throat. Council of Elders. Prayer for the departed. People of Clan Drummond. Lars the Fox's longship was sunk near the Nilfgaardian shore. The whole crew perished. Let us pray to the gods. This will both relieve the pain and spur us on to take revenge. Council of Elders. Message from the Council of Elders. The war between the Nordlings and the Black Ones is getting bloodier. For the sons and daughters of the Isles, this is good news. We shall watch them slaughter each other. The Council has decided that our clan will side with none of them, but the raid should be directly to mainly to the south, towards Nilfgaardian shores. Council of the Elders. Jeez. Warning. Hordor, son of Kalvur, was caught taking elf guardians alive for ransom. I gave him fifty lashes myself, the same punishment awaits all who try the same. The black dogs are to be put down on the battlefield, even if they surrender and promise riches. We take no prisoners. Udalric. I mean, it's better than taking them prisoner and then killing them afterwards anyway. Somewhere. I suppose. Harald Thorson's son is dead. Hark. Yesterday, the heart of Harald Thorsonson, our father, husband, and above all else, a warrior of Clan Drummer, stopped beating. Though he was in twenty-three raids and fought in seven wars, he died in his own bed. Gods have mercy on him, Egil and Hilda. Contract Stolen Horn I, Holger Blackhand, do hereby announce the following. The warriors who brought shame on themselves in their line at the battle of the sodden fields have shown that the punishment they meted out to them was far too lenient. Before departing on Skellig, they stole the horn of my ancestors from my hall. I've entrusted the task of retreating to my steward Matthews. Whoever brings him the horn will taste of my generosity. Whoever helps the cowards and thieves who took it will taste my wrath. I'll have to ask our, fr our friend if he knows how to swim. We know some little guardians here and there. The hell, Drummond Children Midland. I'm listening, Wanderer. Ah, but you see, I don't want you to listen. I want you to talk. To tell me of worries I may be able to read for you. And if you have none, lucky are thou. You kind of go from the ruined inn. Well, fine, let's go from the ruined inn then. Uh oh. It's not just any ruined inn. It's it's full of sirens and its nests. How did I manage to walk up here and in in you know effectively you know unnoticed. Stop hiding! God, the damage I do is insane to these... Like, at this point I must have, like, at least double damage crits. Huh. 
wonder if they care if I loot all their stuff. Well, I'm looting all their stuff nonetheless. I see a box that's clearly a quest box and will probably be locked as a result. Nope, it's open. Letter. Well, let's get rid of all these contracts. Fjall, I've got bad news for you. Your father's ship sank off the southern coast of Ard Skellig. Far as I know, there were no survivors. Only a few bodies were recovered. They were already blue and bloated. I can only recognize Jovik by his tattoo. I'll do what I can to prepare the body for the funeral, but raise yourself. It won't be a pretty sight. I know what was on the ship. Everything you had. So if you need to borrow some coin, don't hesitate to write. Your father and I were bound by blood. I'll never refuse you help. Varlind. Must. Loot. Alright, I think I can art this. Ah, ah, nope. Screw you then. Ah, uh, my guess is it's right outside. Yeah. Ah, uh, we'll get to that once we're, you know, getting everything else. There's no need to rush. That treasure is not going anywhere, am I right? Of course I am. What is this? Oh, rates! Level 20 rates. Power imbalance. Fuck it. Let's go kick her ass. Hello! Oh, fuck it. They have a special music for the... A rest worn for the Witcher Gerd. Interesting. Let it hereby be known that the Witcher known as Gerd has committed foul crimes against the Duke Altiara, namely insulting her grace's majesty, resisting her grace's guards, collaborating with the usurper, and other such deeds bringing harm to Duke Altiara. Any persons providing him shelter will be considered complicit in his crimes. It is the duty of each and every one of Duke Altiara's subjects to provide any and all possible help to the agencies of the law who seek to capture the bandit. For the application of the Witcher Gerd, dead or alive, we have Set a reward in the amount of 300 arc sea denners. In the name of her grace Helena Langehare, heiress to the Duchy of arc sea, suzerain of Yelibol, Hieronymus Cesar Castellian. Well, that's not nice. Just insulting someone and now he's a criminal. Ooh, Arsene Steel Sword. That must be good. That was right before dusk. Then a witcher showed, dirty and unshaven and stinking worse than a fisherman from Faro. Asked for a room and a bucket of water so he could freshen up some. First, I didn't want to let him in on account of the bloody sack he was carrying, but then it came out he had arranged to meet Jorgen Iron Hand here, a friend of Jorgen's, a friend of mine. Sun had long said by the time Jorgen showed, Witcher handed him that sack and we all learned why it stank so bad. Inside was the head of a siren. Jorgen had contracted the Witcher to take it down after it attacked some folk in a cave in the northwestern part of Spike Rogue. Seeing it dead sheared folk awful fast, and Jorgen, happy as a clam, started buying everybody rounds. The Witcher Frained at first, saying he was off to take care of a striga that had infested the ruins of a fortress on the northern edge of the isle. But in the end, he gave in. After all, there is no refusing Jorgen. Made a lovely heap of coin that day, for the sun started rising and not a man had gone home. The witcher got drunk with Jorgen and started telling us tales. And then we sat down for some Gwent. That Gerd, he might be a first class warrior, but he's one lousy card player. Lost half his reward for that siren to me, and drank the other half. Then, wanting to win it back, he wagered a diagram for some kind of steel sword. To my eye was a scrap of rubbish, but fuck it. Some things you gotta do for the sake of sportsmanship and camaraderie, so I accepted the wager. And that's how we learned how to craft a... sword. It Was it seen Steel Sword or Insane... Yeah, it was seen Steel Sword. So seen Steel Sword, um... 
Adrenaline point gain and otherwise not impressive. Well, it does gain lots of critical damage bonus, I'll give you that. So it might actually be better than fucking... What's it called? Feline. So far, it does get great chance, but I'm pretty sure just having more damage is probably better overall, because you can force a lot of crits by just attacking from behind. So yeah, we'll see about that. How the hell did the Spectre loot appear here? That defies sense. Anyway, now we can destroy this. Gotta ruin it for them. I love how Geralt says it's it's as if it's ruining thing for someone. And of course we have uh, how you like that silver? a challenger who fell on top of the roof. God damn it! There isn't a word in the dictionary to describe how destroyed that creature was. Needless to say, it will not work the earth ever again. Jesus Christ, why am I doing so much damage all of a sudden? Like, this is just the same normal feline sword. But it hurts. It hurts oh so much. Yeah, no, there's another raid in here. It's just that my critical damage has become insane. Where's the loot from it, though? No. Oh. It is. Yeah, I killed him here, and it should have fallen down here. But it's not here. No loot. Makes me a sad wee chore. Oh well. This place and loot is not compatible. Of course Roach appears in the worst possible position. Hello Roach. Missed me. Out. Out in the fields we go. Alright, we're heading along this road, I suppose. 